Welcome back to another video. So this is a tuning setup for the BMW M3 2005 car. So we're going to go through everything and talk about what's on this. So this car, it's not meant to be OP. I mean, I could quite easily put the best engine in and just make it absolutely overpowered. But this, that's why I'm not, I'm not trying to do that on this game. I'm just trying to make something what is simple and easy to use on every single situation in this car it just works absolutely amazing i mean I, I, i'm honestly shocked how well this car works for it is um so yeah we'll jump into it and i'll show you everything i've got on it show you the upgrades to tune then we're going to do a little bit of drifting in it um on this i am gonna to have to drive to the location to um where i'm going to drift it on because i've not yet unlocked the travel anywhere I've, I've only put a few hours onto this game um so yeah well when it comes to this it's like i said this this is to my drifting style this is how i've done it to to how i like to drift so it, it may not suit you and that's perfectly fine um so i just thought i'd make you aware on that so we'll get through it all and with this like i said is i wanted to do a tuning setup on this a lot sooner than what i have actually done um but there's hundreds of different combinations you can do on cars on this game like compared to forza motorsport 7 where you've only got like a few options on this is like the, the combinations you can put on is unreal especially when it comes to like the um the gearbox and the diff and all stuff like that because fun fact not the not the drift gearbox is the best gearbox to put on not all the time and say, same with the drift uh, drift diff it is not always the best one to run um so i've been trying to run different combinations on different cars and i think i've sussed it out now so i'm going to start doing a couple of tuning setups i've got this i've got the s15 i've got the rx7 um i've got a few other cars i can't remember off the top of head but this like i said to me this is a drifting style to what i like it's a drifting style to what i use so this may not work for you so we'll just go through it all just so you can have a look at what i've done to the tune itself you may have to pause it in some places i do apologize um it's a lot easier because if i do sit and spend a long time on on doing <laughs> on the tune it's up its side the video will probably be twice as long and it's going to be long enough as it is sort of deal so um if you do need to pause it feel free to pause it but i'll we'll skip through all this break um this is a braking setup i use um this is like a weird one this so this is actually 100 percent to the front wheels not the rear wheels as this graph says the, the arising graph has always been broken compared to the motorsports graph on brake so this is actually to the front wheels but run your braking pressure however you want to run your braking pressure um if you use abs on just use whatever you want sort of deal um so yeah let's jump into it and show you what it can do now I'm gonna go to I think it, I think it's called the mountain path where we're going to here and I'm gonna drift up here. So we'll mark it on the map there. So I'm gonna mute my microphone now and I'm gonna show you what this car can do. One hundred yards. Please keep in mind it is a lot better when you actually get to a section you can drift when it's all straight away it's like this is it's like any other car sort of thing but I haven't got the ability to ch to, to jump to um, <laughs> different locations throughout the map yet so I'm just kind of getting there as quick as I can instead of drifting the entire route so I do apologise about this bit Turn left Turn 
Let's fly down here. Here we go, we're at the section now. Yeah. This is so nice, this car. So nice. And it works extremely well to say it's only got the stock engine in. Like, I'm on it, I'm really happy how well the stock engines are in this game because, don't get me wrong, it's nice upgrading to the most powerful engine, but not being able to drift the engine where it comes with is really annoying. Especially on Forza Motorsport 7 because it's like the stock engine is like 400 horsepower. <laughs> it's like, what? But being able to drift a car with a stock engine on this game is it, just nice. Judge that car. Should have been in eighth gear then. I was always trying to learn this route. Uh. 
I was going to rebreak it there. I love this run, I really do. Oh, I messed that up. Now we'll get into a little bit of a gravel sort of area. So yeah, that is the setup for the BMW, 2000, BMW M3 2005. I hope you do like this tuning setup. If anyone fancies any cars or any other cars or any tuning setup in any different style, feel free to comment in the section below and I'll happily do it for you. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end this video off here. So thank you for watching and peace.